Hey there, Outlaw. If you like what you hear, you can also listen to me on the go with Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. I'll have those links below, and I will also have links for my Reddit. If you wrote a story and you would like me to narrate it, just leave it there on my Reddit, and I will narrate it over time. Go ahead and have a seat, and I'll start off today's story. I never thought I will be having one night stands. Written by NTP6921 As I finished jogging my typical two miles on the trail, I noticed my feet were noticeably more worn down and that I had a combined ten blisters on both of my feet. I thought to myself for something I've done every day half-assed for this many years, I shouldn't have this many blisters. They weren't painful though, and I didn't have medical insurance, so my 20 year old female self just brushed it off. The next day my feet didn't look any better, and when my cap brushed against my right arm, I was completely shocked when he took off a thick piece of skin exposing my bone. The odd thing was that it didn't hurt and I could actually see my own bone. I looked online on how to pack the wound with dressings, then I wrapped it up with an ace bandage. I still had my tinder date set up for tonight and since my arm and feet didn't hurt, I was just going to ignore those ailments for the time being. My day took me to this nice restaurant in downtown Philly. We were just having a good time and we were hitting it off the whole night until half through the night. For some unforeseeable reason, each time I took a bite out of that delicious salad, one of my teeth will fall out. I tried my best to conceal the absolute horror and shock of having these new bloody gaps in my mouth as I try my best to casually sip on red wine to conceal the blood. I've always had an attitude of just roll with the cards you've been dealt with, so with my five missing teeth, with most of them being in the back of my mouth, besides two of them, and fortunately, by me drinking the red wine, which I think really helped me conceal my bloody gums. With my horrid mouth, feet, and arm, I still went back to his place, and we consummated our one-time relationship. The odd thing was that after having that one night stand, my feet healed up, and minus the scar, most of my right arm closed up. I wasn't a doctor, but I think the hormonal rush that I experienced from having that intercourse but maybe it was some other unknown devilish reason. So needless to say, when I foolishly went jogging again the next day and I got calluses on both of my heels, I knew I had to call my tender friend back up from the night before. This time I told him that I would just come over and he didn't have to take me out or anything for dinner. After performing the deed with him, not only did the calluses not heal themselves, this time both of my knees had their skin ripped off to the point where the bones were showing. The odd thing was that I didn't feel any pain, but I did everything possible so my day couldn't see the gruesomeness of my injuries. I was just glad that I wore jeans that night. So after performing the deed and seeing my mango knees, I just threw my jeans on a bow leg at myself out the door. I somehow managed to drive myself home and I wrapped my knees up. Undeterred by this night's events and desperate for a cure, so I had a suspicious hunch that I needed a new gentleman to fix this ailment. 
So I reached out to the next Tinder guy in line and this time I had him come over to my place. Because I wasn't in the mood to be moving around too much with my knees being exposed and having no skin. I did my best to conceal my knees by keeping black leggings on and I just kept a skirt on. He knocked on my apartment door and right away I gave him whiskey as he came in. I could feel my knees really start to ooze blood and other fluids, so I really just wanted to get down to business and I could tell by the look on his eyes, so did he. This time we did a standing up and shortly after the deed was done my knees miraculously healed themselves with of course having a scar to show for it. I now know that in order to heal myself, I need to sleep with a new person each day, which I just shrugged off and said there could be worse things in life to have to deal with. And that's today's story, Abla. Be safe out there. And like always, I see y'all on the wayside.